What's up guys? I'm Mad Morta and in this video I'm going to be showing off what I've been working on this week. I call it the Virtual Battery and it is a rechargeable lithium ion battery bank for the Virtual Boy that should last it about 24 hours of continuous gameplay on a single charge. You can see on the back here there are five status LEDs, three of which are still lit up after 12 and a half consecutive hours of powering the Virtual Boy. So this lasts quite a while. There are two ideas behind the virtual battery. One of them is it is meant to be plug and play with no modification whatsoever to your Virtual Boy console or controller. This was important to me because it's a rare console that didn't sell very well and is now becoming hard to find and therefore expensive and should be protected. So I wanted to build something that wouldn't hurt it or damage it if other people were to try and copy it and somehow fail. So the other half of that is it is meant to be able for anyone to make it without possibility of failure. This is made with you in mind. So there is a 3D printed enclosure and about $30 worth of parts. There is a talent cell 12 volt battery bank in here that costs about $23 and some little metal tabs for connecting to the back of the Virtual Boy controller that cost about six or seven dollars so all you have to do is take the 3d printed enclosure you wrap the metal bits around these two posts here you solder a wire to each of them you solder the positive wire to this pin on the left on the battery bank and the negative black wire to either one of these two pins here. These are the three pins that connect to the plug. Then all you have to do is put it in here and maybe put a little couple drops of epoxy here and there to make sure that everything stays where it's supposed to be. Then you just snap it together. That's it. You've just made your very own for about 30 bucks, which is about the price of a Virtual Boy tap. For those of you who don't own a Virtual Boy, when you buy one, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's nowhere to plug in your power supply. In fact, you can't turn it on without either messing around with these little contacts here or buying a tap, which is a piece of plastic that looks something like this. It's a black box with some rails on it. It slides on and there's one tap for double A's and one tap for the power supply. Part of my drive to make this was that the idea of paying $30 or so for a piece of plastic and two wires whose only function is to go from touching these little pieces of metal to a jack or to a couple of battery terminals was frustrating for me. So I thought that there should be in 2019 a rechargeable solution for the Virtual Boy and this is it. So. If you check the description, there is a link to a Thingiverse page where you can download and print these out. Feel free to make them, sell them, give them away, do whatever you want with them. Just get these out there. So they're, they're really a good option as opposed to the tap. They cost the same as one of the taps and they are a better battery. And not only that, but they act as a power supply tap. So you don't even need a battery tap to power it constantly without running out of power. The talent cell battery that is inside of here comes with a 12 volt DC power supply, which is able to simultaneously charge the controller and power the virtual boy. So if you're getting low on battery, all you have to do is pull out this generic charger, plug it in and keep playing. Once your battery is charged up, you can unplug it or not. <laughs> it's up to you. And that's all there is to it. It's meant to be as simple as possible and solve a couple of the more common problems that we have with the Virtual Boy because I really love this console and it has such a great community that I wanted to contribute to that. So I hope you guys really like this video and check out the description for where you can find the Talent Cell Battery Bank along with these metal tabs and the STL files for the battery bank. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.